Oh, hi, I'm Jim Weiss, and I'm here with my dad, Hi, Dick Weiss, and I'm going to ask him some questions and um, just get a little bit of background. Good. When were you born? Uh, July 8, 1930. Where were you born? In Milwaukee. Which hospital? Don't really know. You don't know? No, I don't know. Not at the Beebe Hospital, huh? No, okay. St. Joe's or? I don't know, really. Huh? No, I never, never entered my mind to ask where I was born. Yeah. Where did, when you came home, where did you come home to? Where, where did you first live? The only recollection I have, I lived on 8th and Harrison. And that was like when I was six or eight years old. Okay. Prior to that, I. I can remember my grandma's house. I stayed there quite a bit. Wow. That was on 12th Street. Other than that... Uh, 12th and what? 12th and Arthur. And where did you go to school? St. Joseph's. Yeah. From 1st to 8th? 1st to 7th grade and then 8th grade I went to R.B. Hayes on 10th and Hayes. Okay. And from there I went to Pulaski High School. And um, you, you didn't have brothers or sisters? I supposedly had an older brother and he had died in childbirth. Okay. Other than that, no, there were no other siblings. Did you have hangouts back then? Did you? I mean, I obviously didn't have the mall to hang out at, but was there places where you met other kids or? Well, most of the guys hung around the playgrounds. There was a lot of activity. Uh, they had, in the wintertime, they had ice skating, and in the summer and spring, we had baseball, and fall, we played football. So basically, the playground was a place to hang out. Which playground? Uh, Cleveland? Or? Cleveland playground, yes. All right. What was your favorite sport? Baseball. Yeah. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah. Did when you were kids? Did uh, you guys play hardball or softball or what kind of baseball did you play? It was mostly softball. Wow. It was a situation that one person would that owned the ball was called on for supper. The game was ended. <laughs> so. Nowadays, everybody's got their own ball, their own bat. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you had your own bike? Yeah, I finally got a second-hand bike that was an Elgin. Elgin? Yeah, I think Sears made them. Okay. So we're, when you and your mom went shopping, would you guys go to Mitchell Street or where was the shopping? Lincoln Avenue was the main drag. And, and, well, Mitchell Street was uh, more exclusive stores, uh, the Grand and Schuster's and yeah. stuff like that. So do you remember any of the nuns? I remember the nuns, but their names I can't recall. How about the priests? No, I wasn't close to them guys. They never <laughs> took me to camp. Weren't you an altar boy though? Yes, I was. Yeah. You had to put on the red smock or whatever, and then Surplus. the white. What were these things? Remember, you had to have that. You had a white. Uh, yeah. Whatever it was. <laughs> yeah. I never made it to altar boy, so I, I was just a collector. Oh. Um, I was looked up to the altar boys. Those were the big guys. So. I think it was third or fourth grade before you got into. The hard stuff that you could handle the wine. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember that day when I tripped and had that basket fall and all the money went flying all over the church? And... Remember it well. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. It's the hazard of being a collector. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you reap none of the profits either. Yeah. So you're six years old and you're living on Ethan Harrison. Do you live there until you move out, or do you, do you and your mom move? No, we, we moved on 9th place in Cleveland. Okay. 
above the tavern. Right in the corner there? Yeah. That know. would be what the North northeast, yeah. northeast corner. Okay. Didn't mom used to work right across from there? Oh, at uh, Lindemann Hoverson. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was their Lindemann Hoverson's building, but the outfit that mom worked for where they made casting rods, fishing equipment. Oh, did they? Huh. She used to tie the little things on the end of the line, uh, the, uh, the post. Yeah. So then you moved there? But I remember Grandma living on 16th Street. Yeah, 16, just off of Mitchell. Yeah. Did you live with Grandma there, or? No, I lived with, with, with Grandma though. just before I got married with, to Mom. I, I lived on Third and, and um, Maple. No, not Maple. Boy, my memory's gone. It was one block north of Mitchell. I hate to say maple, but maple is south of Mitchell. Yeah. I can't think of either. Um, what's that other busy street that goes through there? It's right next to Mitchell. Yeah, it's probably not it. Anyway, um, so how do you meet Mom? I met her at a birthday party. Her girlfriend, Betty Meehan, uh, had a birthday party. And my friend uh, Dick Watts was going out with Betty Meehan and he was invited, so if he was invited, oh. the gang was invited. Okay. <laughs> so I met Mom at the party. Yeah. And she was close friends with Betty Meehan or? Yeah, they, when, when Betty Meehan was younger, she lived right next door to Mom. Oh, she did? She lived on fifth place. Okay. And then Betty Meehan's folks bought a tavern just just north of Mitchell Street on 6th Street. Oh, I didn't know that. So that's where I met Mom at, at the tavern, right at all, in the basement where we had a birthday party. So the, did the Meehan's live just north of where Mom lived or just south? North. Just north? Just north. Okay. Sure. And the Kubeks lived on the other side? Yeah, the Kubeks lived south of about, about three doors. Okay. Yeah. Now, how old was Mom when you met her? Thirteen. Thirteen? Yeah, I think thirteen. Yeah. And how old were you, fifteen? Fifteen. Yeah. And then you started dating, or? Well, we, we dated as a group, you know, you didn't have to, going out with someone okay. special and it was a group but we ended up you know walking with each other talking and stuff like that yeah. and then I didn't see mom for maybe a year and a half two years I had other things <laughs> <laughs> to do so then then we, we that was baseball right that was well yeah other things, uh, <laughs> I play softball I can't remember how I met her again, but then we, we started going out again, and we went, I think it was two years we went together, and then we just got married. Yeah. And then when you got married, did you live on Forest Street, or is that the first house you lived on, or? No, we lived a little bit with, with uh, Grandma Olszewski. Uh -huh. uh, we lived up in the attic. We, uh, mother's two brothers, the twins, Richie and Bobby, they converted a part of the attic into a bedroom. Okay. We'll put up drywall and stuff like that. Oh. So that was the first place we lived. Wasn't it hot up there? Yeah, we had a fan, open windows. I remember, I, I, when we were kids, every once in a while, we, for whatever reason, we'd be, they'd let us go up there. And I just remember it being really hot. That little stairway that you had to kind of... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I think they get half our furniture and we had to take a window out and there was a, a little shanty with a roof on it. We'd stand on there and boost the stuff through the window because yeah. we couldn't get it up to the attic yeah. steps. I believe, I believe that. And if I remember right at Grandma's house, the basement or the 
first floor or whatever was sort of sub-level, right? Or half sub-level? Well, it was the basement, yeah. Right. And that's where the kitchen was and the family room. And, uh, well, not a family actually, room, but it wasn't a uh, front room or whatever. And uh, the washing machine area and stuff like that. Well, the washing machine area was in, like, you know, they had a big pantry area, like. Right. And the other room was a bedroom, which Uncle Bobby and Auntie Dolly had. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so they were in the basement and we were in the attic. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I still remember because the, you know, the party line, and if you picked up the phone, and somebody else would be on the line talking and you'd get mad at you because you were on the phone. So, yeah. yeah, listening in. Yeah. And Grandpa would sit down and he had his radio up at the window there, and he'd bring out his cord of the Pabst. Or? Pabst. And he'd listen to the Braves game. Yeah. Love the Braves games. Wow. Wow. Uh, he was a good ball player himself. Yeah, that's what I heard. He was a catcher, right? Yeah. He played in some farm team for the Brewers. I mean, the Brewers were a farm team, but yeah. Yeah, somewhere down the line he played in the lower league. I heard all kinds of stories about Grandpa. Yeah. About him running moonshine or... Well, yeah, that's... That you know, to any of that's true, but that's why, you know, when you're a kid, you hear all those things that... Well, you know how to handle his moves, though. Yeah? Yeah, he's he, he down them pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I remember, you know, we would go there, going up that hill, and I remember thinking, boy, that hill, you know, couldn't wait till you get up the hill so you could see Grandma's house and everything. So, Adam and I, uh, I don't know, I was going to pick up Adam or Kyle, I can't remember which. I thought, I'm just going to drive by there, and I'll drive up that hill. <laughs> it's, it's a little rise, it's not even a no, hill. Well, yeah. But as a kid, I just thought that thing was a mammoth hill. Way up there. Yeah. So, um, okay, so then Ricky comes along and you, when did you guys move, the, did you, was 4th Street the first uh, place you guys had for yourselves? Or did you? No, we lived on, on 5th and Rogers. And we were there till I had a, I had a, a appendectomy and I couldn't work. So we could pay rent, so we moved back to my grandma. Yeah. So we lived there for six, eight months. Then we moved to 5th and Harrison on the third floor. And uh, we lived there for about six months. Then we moved to 25th and Maple. Oh, I didn't know about that one. That's where you were born. Okay. Yeah. Then we were a team. We ended up. Yeah, we ended up one more time by Grandma. And then we moved to Fort Street. Okay. That's the first place I remember, Fort yeah. Street. So. I, I remember, was Mark the first dog that we had? Or did you have a dog before Mark? We had a dog. But we, when we moved on 25th and Maple, they said we couldn't have a dog. And it was just a little toy, like a, like a Pomeranian dog, a little squeaky thing. And they said we couldn't have a dog. And after we had moved in and I had given the dog away, I found out that the landlord had a big, great, great stained dog. <laughs> so I approached her about it and she said, well, it's my house, and I make the rules. Yeah. <laughs> so we didn't last long there. Yeah. I, I still remember Mark not being around much. I mean, he was kind of a traveling dog. Yeah, he was a stray. <laughs> yeah, a tramp a little bit. So, and, uh, so your first job, uh, driving truck, or did you do something before you drove truck? Well, I worked after school, I worked at Cloggy Doo and Milwaukee Hay Tulip.